The Carolina defensive line also featured a Panther whose journey to Charlotte started in Bailey, North Carolina. By way Swing pass and a dangerous pass. It's picked off by oh. Peppers. Julius Peppers in the end zone. <laughs> oh. 2002 NFL Draft. Julius, excited to be about three hours from your hometown with the Panthers and yeah. a team that definitely needs a pass rush, my friend. Yeah, that's right. I think I can help out. I think I can come in and help right out. You know, it's good to stay at home around my family and friends so they can come see me play. After the glitz and glamour of draft day, number 90 became the number one attraction for Panthers fans and enemy number one for opposing quarterbacks. The University of North Carolina standout moved around the gridiron like it was his own backyard. With 12 sacks and defensive rookie of the year honors, he made himself at home in opposing backfields. Julius Peppers is a beast. Julius Peppers is a beast. Julius Peppers is a beast. He's like as if you're playing in the backyard with all your friends and then your big brother comes in and it's just unfair. You know, the first thing that stood out to me was just how big he was, like physically. He's one of those quiet and uh, quiet giants. Julius Peppers, who goes six six. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's one of those freaks. <laughs> A freakish athlete, Julius Peppers. You know, just does things that are, you know, you just kind of say, wow. At an age when most players are thinking about retirement, Julius Peppers set a career high in forced fumbles while scoring two touchdowns. 34 years old, 13 years in the league, and he can do stuff like that. On the first, Peppers ran the length of the field to catch Tampa Bay's Michael Pittman and help prevent a touchdown. Like tackle. He did his one arm stiff arm move and he just picked him up off his feet and threw him down. Just brute force. Third down, I went inside and Boyd rushed his dude and put him on his ass. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, right tackle. I wonder if he's going to be on the 100. He's constantly changing his game. He was constantly getting better at other stuff to adapt. He wasn't dropping back in the coverage early in, the, in his career. Now he's being able to drop back in the coverage. Arrived on the scene. He was getting sacks all over the place, stripping the ball, running the ball back. Only player in the NFL with at least a sack, interception, forced fumble, and defensive TD this season. You know, when you take a look at all of it put together, wow, what an impact he's had for the Packers. He had more touchdowns than some offensive players, so how can you not say he's still performing at that level? Against us this year, he had a pick six, which you don't see a lot. This top 100 performer topped 100 yards on his two pick sixes. Receivers can't catch him, so it's crazy because he's so big. And he's running away from receivers who are trying to catch up with him after interception happened. How many former defensive ends can take that ball to the house? Not many. That boy got two pick sixes. That's crazy. First one, he tried to Lambo leap. He didn't make it, so we gave him a hard time. The second one, he made it. So it was fun to see. The Panthers are known for their defense, a reputation that stems from a decision they made in the 2002 NFL Draft. With the uh, second choice in the 2002 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Julius Peppers, defensive end from North Carolina. From his rookie season, Julius Peppers quickly became one of the best defensive ends in the NFL. Number 90 spent 10 of his 17 NFL seasons in Carolina. He retires as the Panthers' all-time leader in sacks with 97 and his fourth all-time with 159 and a half total sacks. Wow, good job by Pepp. Pepper's coming backside. Eats him up at 25. He retires as a nine-time Pro Bowler and a six-time All-Pro.